Hey, Jason. Um, so I'm right? watching your sack from the last game, and it looks like you just take your left arm and drive a 300-pound man into the quarterback. Um, how, how do you decide to go to that move? And do people, because of your speed, underestimate your power? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, I just drove him, you know, ran into the quarterback because I got tired of the holding and frustration of, you know, uh, the offensive tackle was holding me mostly the whole game. And, you know, I just found my opportunity of pushing the tight end before the uh, the offensive tackle got there to try to come help out, you know. You've uh, been incredibly consistent. I think you have the longest active sack streak. Um, is there a, a, a side that you prefer? I mean, you and Shaq seem to work well together. You, you switch at times. But why, why is one side stronger for you than the other, you think? Uh I'm not – I'm. there's no side that's stronger to me than the other. Uh, I just mostly stay on the right because Shaq stays on the left. It's it just how it goes. But anytime, like, we're rotating, you know, I just – I find my shots to go to the left side. So, you know, that's just how it goes. We just rotate the sides that we feel like, you know, we can, uh, we can dominate the best. If it's a mismatch, uh, we'll go for the mismatch, you know, but – we just look for the side that we dominate best. Thanks. You're welcome. Next is going to be Jenna Lane. Hey, Jason. How are you? What's going on? No, not much. Um, there have been instances already this year where, um, you know, Devin will, will blitz the A-gap and it'll help create a sack for you or – you know, Shaq on the opposite side will collapse the pocket and help you get to the quarterback or you'll, you know, force an incompletion or you'll help create a sack for another guy. Do you feel like the synergy that you guys have together as a pass rush is improved from last year? Uh, what, what are like, what are some of the differences that you've kind of noticed, you know, year over year? And I know that you came in last year late because of the injury. Yeah. Uh, I still, we still trying to figure it out. Um, uh, uh, yeah, we're still trying to figure it out uh, how we can uh, sync with each other. I don't think that we're fully synced yet. I think we're still getting there uh, from a rushing point. Uh, as far as running the ball, I think uh, we do a great job at at that. But uh, pass rushing, we're still trying to figure it out. So uh, I can only imagine once we do figure out how, how awesome that's going to be. Um, just just the way football works, <laughs> when you have a lead, you get more opportunities to rush the quarterback, right? But but from a mentality standpoint, when you guys have a lead coming out at halftime, like what does that do for you guys as a defense going out there knowing we have this lead and we're going to get to rush the quarterback a lot? Uh, what does it do for our defense? Uh, we don't look at it like that. We just look at it, okay, uh, you know, now it's 0-0. Uh, you know, Halftime, we look at it as zero zero. Uh, nobody score, even though we do, we have a tremendous lead. But and we try to play defense uh, like that. That way, we won't we won't give up the opportunity of that lead. You know, so we try not to take advantage of uh, what we have. Thank you. All right, next is gonna be Greg Almond. Hey, Jason, you and Shaq are both guys that'll play ninety percent of the defensive snaps more if necessary. And you had in the first two games, it seems like there was a more conscious effort, conscious effort to to rotate Nelson in there on Sunday. Just want to ask you, I don't know if that was the elevation or, or whether that was something consciously done and, and whether that helped you at all. No, that's just our coach uh, rotating, you know. Uh, trust me, I know how the game goes. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, for a young guy like Nelson to come in and help the rotation, that's, that's perfect because uh, we're going to need him. You know, we're going to need him and in, in, in putting him in there early, you know, just give him, you know, putting him in that fire, you know, uh, seeing how things go and how he how he uh, reacts to it. He's been doing, doing a pretty good job. We're getting nice rushes in. Um, young cat, but he's learning fast, and, and I can see it. JPV, you got, I, think it's, I think it's five sacks last week, six sacks, six sacks this week, uh, the last two weeks. Is there, is there a number you have in mind in terms of what constitutes a good week in terms of the total for this nah, team? I, to be honest, you know, I don't have a, a, a exact number. You know, when it comes to sacks, uh, I just go out there and play uh, and play as hard as I can, you know, and 
me playing as hard as I can and uh, beating the guy in front of me, that'll come with the sacks. So I don't try to put a number on it. It just that's just the way I'm playing. If I could beat the guy in front of me five or eight times, I'm gonna beat him five or eight times. But you know, it's all up to me. You know, so. Thanks, Chase. Yep. All right. Next is Ed and Cena. Hi, Jason. And earlier, you talked about just you know you're still trying to, you know, there's there's still more 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 to it in terms of, of getting getting the pass rush going. But you know, Todd Bowles' scheme it, it seems to put all you guys in a position to to make a play. You know, um, how big how big of a part of that is, you know, keeping you know all, always keeping you know the other team guessing, I guess, with, with, with this defensive scheme. I think it's a big part, uh, you know, especially playing defense. Uh, like, like you just said, Todd Bo just does a great job of getting everybody, you know, a piece of the ball and seeing the ball go get it. Uh, and I, th I just think guys just trust him. You know, uh, we trust the plays that he's going to call. He's going to get us what we need to, to get. And so far, it's beginning us one step closer to what we need to get. When obviously you try, like you said, you trust them. Does that trust even grow when you have games like you know, like the ones you've been having in terms of getting to the quarterback a lot? These, these games for sure. You, know, down. you know, like like we like I said, we just building, man. We building our uh, chemistry with the team. You know, uh, you know, it's just great great chemistry right now. So, like I'm look I'm looking forward to this week. You know, each week is different, and you know, defense is pumped up each each and every week. So, I'm ready to get out there. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, our last one's going to come from Mark Cook. Hey, Jason. Um, the last couple of weeks, you guys won rather handily uh, score-wise. But even during that Panthers game, it maybe got a little closer in the second half than you wanted. And the offense maybe didn't put up the points that, that Bruce and Byron would want. Uh, I think Bruce even mentioned that after the game on Sunday, that you guys have to learn to put teams away. What, what constitutes building kind of that killer mentality that – that mentality to to finish a team and, and and not allow them back in the ball game. That's, that's gonna come from us as players, you know. Uh, you know, we know what kind of team we got, and especially like you know, you know, having a, a, a huge lead. And I'm speaking on the defense uh, stand, uh, defensive side. Uh, just letting them back in the game, man. You know. Uh, like I said, we know what kind of team we have, and we're trying to just finish. We got to finish stronger than what we've been finishing, you know. Uh, and I just think that starts with the players, uh, especially starts with me first. And, uh, you know, uh, just getting to the ball faster, closing out faster, doing all your assignments the right way, you know. At times, you know, having a big lead, you probably, tend, you probably think you can slack off a little bit, but that's not the case. You got to still continue to, you know, uh, do what you need to do to, you know, you know, kill that team and, and take their last breath away. That way you know the game is over and, and you want it. So I think they just start with the players and, you know, coach put an emphasis on it. And I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get it right. So I, I know you guys, I know you don't play offense, but you've went up against these guys since, um, you know, late July. Um, how, how much better can this offense be? I mean, is this just the tip of the iceberg? And you guys are sitting at two and one atop the division. But 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 you guys can be better offensively. You feel we we're going to get better all around the board. Like you know, just in practice, you can see it. You know, uh, like I said, it starts with starts with us as players first, and start with myself. Uh, how much better I could get as a player. You know, what I mean, and I think each and every player, if you ask that question on the team, they'll say they could get better. They're getting better and better every day, especially as in learning your teammates and then building a, 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 a individual relationship with them, you know, I think that's the big key, you know, because not everybody on the team know each other. But I think uh, meanwhile, while doing that, we're building and learning each other is making us more stronger. Very good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Jason.